the history brush tool is a pretty cool tool that you can use and it allows you to restore parts of an image to an earlier history state by painting over them and recreating that source data it uses a history state or a snapshot um, these are going to be in the history panel and it uses those as source data so just to show you let me just open up the history panel right here if you don't have the history panel you can go to window and go to history and click it and it should pop up for you and what this does you can see all the changes that you made to your document so say we come in here and do a change to this bird here let's just get the brush let's change the blend mode to color and then change the bird I'm just doing a quick version guys I'm not doing too much taking too much time on it no detail I'm just changing this to a different color all right so now we got the bird uh, we got it all desaturated right here kind of black and white and what we'll do is we're going to get our history brush out and then we're going to come here and we're going to choose something before the change that we made so if i choose even this one or say even go way up here and pick one when you come over here and you actually paint on it you can see it's bringing it back to the original state that it was in whatever state that we choose again it's going to bring it to how it looked when it was at that history state be careful not to go too far back you know say you've done some changes some edits and you go way too far up you might have some problems doing that and this works with more things than just the color right it works with transformations um, distortions warps it works with different adjustments and filters um, it'll just bring it back to a different state you guys can watch my panels video where I go over every single panel and I'll break down the history panel a little bit better for you. Um, then up here guys we got the options for the history brush. Same thing with every tool we got presets for that tool. Then we got the brush preset picker. This controls the size and the hardness of the brush. You can also search for specific brushes. This right here sets the brush angle and the roundness. So you can mess with the settings here, change the angle. Then right here, it's got some tools that you recently used. And then you got your brush gallery or whatever saved brushes you have. I got a lot of them. Right here, it's got the new brush preset group, new brush group. You can rename, delete. You can choose what to show, the brush name, stroke, and brush tip. It's got other info, um, show the search bar, show recent brushes. You got the append, import, and export options. You can also get more brushes, convert legacy tool presets, and legacy brushes. Um, once you got all these settings, you can click this here to add a new brush preset for whatever brush you just created then right here this is going to toggle the brush settings panel all it does is open the brush settings panel you don't have to click it from here you can click it from over here um, i'm going to break down this in another video but there's a ton of options and things that you can change there's way too much to go over in this video you don't really need to know this stuff for the history brush but it's good to know after that we got our blend mode drop down where you'll choose whatever blend mode you want then opacity everyone knows what opacity is this right here is if you have a Wacom tablet or another pen tablet if you click this and turn this on how hard you press determines the opacity so the harder you press the more opacity there is then you can change the flow rate um, after that, we got the airbrush style buildup effects. Then we got the angle, the brush angle. And then finally, we got pressure for size. This works kind of like the pen pressure for opacity, but it determines the size. So if you have this clicked, the harder you push, the bigger the uh, brush stroke's going to be.
But that's the history brush, guys. If you've got any questions, make sure to put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.